welcome to Gemchem. Now today's video is on atomic structure part 7. Here we will deal with radial wave functions. Now before starting, if you have not watched atomic structure previous videos, do watch it. I will give the link in the description box. Now let us start. Now before going to radial wave function and radial curves, we should also understand uh, about the quantum numbers. And so we are discussing shortly about the quantum numbers with reference to the Schrodinger wave equation. Now previously we have obtained these equation from the spherical coordinate. Now in an effort to get physically meaningful solution of this equation in spherical polar coordinate, the quantum numbers n, l and m were automatically introduced. It has been found that this one radial wave function or radial function is dependent upon n and l whereas this theta function is dependent upon l and m whereas phi function is dependent upon only m and the ultimate equation becomes this type with the subscripts as n, l, n, l for the radial part and for the this part is lm or m and so we get y lm where y is the we know as angular part right previously we have already discussed about it in the atomic structure part 6 video now see the last point which is important states that the spin quantum number in the wave mechanics was introduced by Dirac by considering a relativistic correction in the equation but we will not go into the details of spin quantum number now let us see what is radial wave function now radial wave function signifies how amplitude of function that is rr function of xi varies along the radius vector here there will be a xi now how the amplitude that is the maximum portion maximum displacement from the origin is known as amplitude so how the amplitude function j varies along a radius vector keeping the value of theta and phi constant so by keeping the value of theta and phi constant how j changes and it is dependent upon n and l now for n equal to 1 if we consider l equal to 0 what does it signify it basically signifies 1s orbital right now from quantum mechanics we have obtained an expression for this 1s orbital and it is just like this 2 z by a0 3 by 2 exponential minus z r by a0 now here a0 actually stands for the radius of first Bohr orbit radius of first Bohr orbit. We have already discussed about Bohr orbit and Bohr theory in previous videos of atomic structure probably for the for in the part 1 and 2 in details. Now we will just here discuss about the equation. This is obtained from quantum mechanics and ultimate expression is k the constant taken out exponential minus k1 r. Here the z by a0 is considered as k1 and this part that is the part present in this part is considered as k. This is taken as k and this part is this part right now we will see how to draw it now before drawing we have to know what is the characteristics of radial curve so that it is easy to draw the radial curves now the curves for s orbitals never starts from origin while for p d and f it starts from origin and the curve should terminate as either exponentially decaying or increasing and the number of radial nodes that is number of time it passes through the origin will be equal to n minus l minus 1. So let us begin with 1s orbital. Now for 1s orbital if we take now we know for 1s the n equals to 1 and n equals to 0 right. Now we can draw it as this one. Here we will have the radial function rr. This rr can be specifically written as r1 comma 0 by the quantum number r and the down part will be the radius. Now the curve will be like this one. It will be coming starting from this portion that is this portion of curve and will decay exponentially so this is our radial curve right this is our 1s radial curve now if we consider for 2s orbital let us see for 2s orbital now for 2s orbital we have n equal to 2 l equal to 0 and number of nodes will be n minus l minus 1 that is 2 minus 0 minus 1 so there will be one node right so the drawing will be like this if this is our curve and this is r and this is r r and here we can write 2 comma 0 in subscript so the curve is like this starts from this part goes down 
and exponentially increases and then continues. So this is our curve for 2s, radial curve. Now we will see for 3s. Let us see. Now for 3s actually, the n equals to 3 and l equals to 0, right? So the number of nodes becomes n minus l minus 1 equals to 2. So now the curve is like this. If we consider this one slowly, then here it comes down, goes up and then decreases. Now see, there are two nodes present here and here, this part and this part. So this axis is known as RR, previously also told, and the substitute is written as 30 and this part is our R. So this was for 3s orbital. Now we will see for p orbitals, right? Now to be very careful, the heights gradually decreases, right? These heights gradually decrease. This is much lesser than this height. This is greater. Okay. Now let us go to our next part. Now if we construct the radial curve for basically 3p orbital, if we take 3p orbital, then our n will be equal to 3 and l will be equal to 1. So the number of nodes will be n minus l minus 1. So it will be 1. And previously we have seen the characteristics that p, d and f will start from origin. So first we write the axis name 3 comma 1 and here it will be r and it will start from origin and it will go down as there is one and this will gradually meet. So see the height of this is much greater than the second one. It gradually decreases. Now we will see for 4d right. Let us see. Now for 4d we have n equal to 4 and l equal to 2. So number of nodes will be n minus l minus 1. So we get it as 1. 4 minus 2 minus 1. Now we draw the graph. Now on drawing the graph here the axis is r r that is 4 comma 2 and here r. Now when we use we start from origin and one node means there will be one intersection and it will meet here gradually. So this is our 4D curve, right? Now for 3D, try on your own. 3D, try on your own. This is the homework. Now this much for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.